We'll go to, to a Facebook question. Uh, this is a, a question by Nancy who says, uh, Hi, Hank, my question is how do you explain uh, what is hell through the Scripture and the difference between Hades and hell? Thanks a lot. Well, uh, Nancy, the answer to your question, and this is a, a question I'm sure a lot of people are asking, and that's why I want to bring this up in this third segment of the broadcast today, um, is that uh, Christians have not always recognized the distinction between Hades, which is transitional, and hell, which is eternal. In other words, one is temporary, the other is eternal. And I say that because you can go back to the parable of Jesus Christ, one of my favorites, the rich man and Lazarus. I mean favorite in that I think it's one of those parables that should be embedded in all of our minds. Um, but it is a daunting story. And remember what happened, you have both alive at one moment and then both dead in the next. And the one Lazarus is a beggar. The dogs are licking his sores. And the other is a very, very wealthy man. Uh, purple linen caressing his skin. And they both die. And in the parable, Jesus points out that the rich man ended up in torment. And Lazarus in comfort. He's being comforted in Abram's bosom or paradise. In other words, comforted in the presence of God. And then the rich man, after experiencing torment, as he was in Hades, begins begging Abraham to send Lazarus to my father's house. Why? Because he said, I have five brothers. Let him warn them so that they will not also experience this torment. And the response is, they have Moses and the prophets. They don't believe that. They're not going to believe even if someone rises from the dead. And I said that in yesterday's broadcast. We have the light of creation. We have the light of conscience. And then we have the light of Christ. And if we respond to light, we will receive more light. But there's a further argument that I'd like to bring to the fore in answering Nancy. And that is, Hades is torment in a disembodied state. Hell is torment in an embodied state after the second coming of Jesus Christ. Remember the words of Christ. Do not be amazed. The time is coming when all who are in the grace will hear his voice and come out. Those who have done good will rise to live, and those who have done evil will rise to be condemned. And this, of course, is an echo an echo of what we heard in the Old Testament from Daniel, who said, multitudes who sleep in the dust of the earth will awake, some to everlasting life, others to shame and everlasting contempt. So using the Bible, we can rightly conclude that those like the rich man, who now experiences in the present, experiences temporary torment in Hades, in a disembodied state, is going to be resurrected to eternal torment in hell in a re-embodied state. Perhaps one final point, and that is, we will see a distinction between Hades and hell in that the return of Christ will usher in an epic in which the dead are judged according to what they have done. And then Hades is thrown into hell, Gehenna, as John says, the sea gave up the dead that were in it, and death and Hades gave up the dead that were in them, and each person was judged according to what he had done. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire, what is that? It is the second death. You can read that in Revelation chapter 20. I think it's verses 13 and 14. 